Welcome back to Front of the Bench, everybody. As always, it's Eric, and today we're back, and we have two blasters of Mosaic Football to open up. So you're looking at these for 32 NFL trading cards in total. Um, we have four cards per pack. We have eight packs per box, and we're looking for Genesis. Um, that's kind of like the big thing that we're looking for. The Genesis are what that Joey Bosa is. That was last year's. Um, but that was uh, the big pull for last year for for Mosaic in general is the is the Genesis. So see if we can get that. I'm sure there's other parallels and stuff in here. Uh, I've seen there's something a hollow something um, that I didn't see in any of the hobby what breaks I was a part of. I think you can still get like stained glass maybe stuff like that. There's a bunch of different hits you can get in this. Um, obviously looking for the big first round. Uh, quarterbacks these were $50 Canadian at my local Walmart and by local Walmart I mean online at Walmart so uh, I wasn't gonna buy it and then to be honest move Mike a little closer here um, I had a $50 gift card for Walmart sitting beside my laptop when my buddy sent me the the link and I said well I guess that's a sign I might as well like I said don't usually like paying those big prices um, I'm not sure they just don't make sense. Like, you can't buy a blaster. Even if you hit, like, a silver Mac Jones, I, I'd have to hit that plus a bunch more out of these two blasters for it to make sense. So, uh, we have Michael Thomas, who I don't think played a snap this year. Uh, Joe Montana. Uh, we got, this is a bang. Okay, this is, a, I think this is um, a retail exclusive because it was Montage was the other kind of, like, Horizontal uh, parallel in hobby, and then we got my guy Amir Smith Marset. Uh, pulled a bunch of him, had him hit for me and everything else this year. Uh, I think I got like three autos of his now, and it's kind of funny because I listened to the Athletic, uh, the, the NFL football show, with Robert Mays and Nate Tice, and uh, Nate's like he was like Nate's favorite guy coming into like the the season. And uh, anyway, so it's kind of funny that I keep on hitting him. So uh, we got a Joe Shor uh, Joe Schobert. We got a Derek Brooks Man of the Year. And we have not a rookie. We have a Quentin Nelson, which anyway, that knows me. I'm a big guy. So I, I enjoy uh, the big men here. I enjoy them for the uh, parallels and stuff. And then, still not a rookie, uh, Robbie Anderson. I always thought it was kind of underrated, but there we go. Quinn Nelson in the green mosaic. Very nice card. Uh, backdrop of the day, we just got Chargers. Why not, right? Uh, we got Rashawn Slater out of 49, pink. Uh, we got Justin Herbert from last year. That's the year active gold. And then we got the genesis of Joey Bosa from last year also. Uh, we got Brian Dawkins. We got Josh Jacobs with the AFC. And then Will to Win, Dalvin Cook. Got a bunch of Vikings here. And a rookie, Ben Skronik. Um, the guy dropped a pass, almost lost the game. That was what, the, champ the NFC Championship, I think. Wide open in the end zone, drops a pass. So. That's uh, the Ram win, and like, man, I guess like it's good that they trade away a lot of the draft picks because they don't hit on any of them. Uh, they get two two Atwell, which I I didn't understand that pick when they did it. Uh, we got Cam Akers, I like Cam Akers, I guess. Uh, we got Patrick Sertan. There we go, the NFA NFL debut, uh, debut obviously, uh, and then we got a Baker. I still believe in Baker. I know it's hard to say, uh, but I still do believe in the guy. I think he's not a bad quarterback. I think he was beat up all last year. So I think he's still... Like, what are you going to do? Like, people are saying, like, Jimmy G? Come on now. Jimmy G? Like, oh, then we got a base Quentin Nelson. There we go, getting the Quentin Nelson uh, rainbow over here. But really, like, what, like, Jimmy G? Like, the guy wins games because he's on a really good team. Like, the guy threw, what, nine passes in a playoff game one time? Like, give me a break. Like, the guy, 
There's a reason why they drafted a quarterback that early on. It's because he's not good. Uh, we got Taysom Hill. We got a DK Metcalf. And this is a Hall of Fame. Dan Fouts. Filling him with the Chargers. Uh, so we got Dan, Dan Fouts with the green parallel. And then we got a Deo Odubai, Odub, Odubingo. 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 There we go. We got Deo. How about that? For the Colts. And the damn Fouts. Very fitting with the Chargers. So, like I said, we're looking for the first round uh, quarterbacks. Trevor Lawrence, which I like Trevor Lawrence. Uh, I think the guy's going to be really good. But, man, just what they keep on doing to him. You know, you get... Oh, <laughs> uh, you get the whole, whole thing this last year. The coach and all that. You know, we, it just doesn't make sense. Like, how do you think that bringing him in is going to be a good idea? Never ran an NFL team. Brings in a bunch of guys that nobody knows or have never been coaches. Then tells them all, like, two weeks later that they're not winners. Uh, then you get Trent Balky there as the GM. He's terrible. Super Bowl MVPs, Marcus Allen. Get a rookie for Tennessee, Des Fitzpatrick go and then another baker so apparently if you hit a hit a parallel of certain people of, of vets you're going to get the uh, base too but there we go Des Fitzpatrick that's our rookie hit that's our, probably our first rookie parallel so far um but yeah anyways, it's uh I just I don't know I think and now you bring Doug Peterson in people say well he's a former you know he's a Super Bowl winner and you know he's a former uh quarterback and all this stuff but it's like I don't know uh, John Elway, we got a got game, Calvin Ridley, that's a retail exclusive, and then Javante Williams, who's really good, I think he's going to get a chance to do the whole backfield by himself this year, I don't think he's going to have to deal with uh, Melvin Gordon and his paycheck, which, you know, Melvin Gordon came from my team. I don't mind Melvin Gordon, but the guy got greedy. Running backs, I say it all the time. Just take the money that's there. But if your team that you were drafted by wants to pay you, just take whatever it is. Because like when you go to that second place, chances are you're not going to uh, fare as well. I got Derwin James, which, guess what? That's the jersey of the day is Derwin James. I got the powder blue on instead of the white. But uh, we got a Travis Kelsey... The Detroit Lions, not a rookie. This is Billy Sims. What a random hit. And then another Billy Sims behind him because there we go. So I'm telling you right now, uh, not very good. What was our best hit in there? Mir Smith Marset. This is Green Quint Nelson or Green Baker maybe? Yeah, for John Vontae Williams, maybe a dollar for for the base card. Yikes. Like I said, the price is... I don't know where you guys are watching what you guys pay for this stuff, but uh, up here in Canada, we have MJ Holdings, and uh, they determine the prices for all the Walmarts and stuff. And uh, they just, over the last year, the prices just keep on going up and up. Like I think last year, most of the stuff was like 35 bucks, and we were like... Oh, not sure if it's worth it now. And now they're like, yeah, look, we're, we're going to charge you 50 bucks for these plus tax. By the way, where I live for two of them, that's an extra $15 <laughs> at the end of it. So, um, yeah. Welcome to Canada, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I have 50% tax where I am. It's like the highest tax in the country. Beautiful. Makes buying products like retail or even from like hobby shops and stuff. makes it really hard. So you're just adding, especially like a thousand bucks, you're adding an extra 150 bucks, right? So it's like, gets rough. Mike Evans, Super Bowl champion, Matthew Stafford. What is this? Why does Tom Brady have a big head with a little body? <laughs> Touchdown Masters. And we got a 2-2 Atwell. There we go. We're just getting all the Rams here. What is that insert? I don't like that. Touchdown Masters, but you have him look like a bobblehead. 
I don't, I don't like that at all. That's the, <laughs> that's not the insert for me. Touchdown Masters last year, I'm pretty sure it was like a pretty decent looking insert. Sometimes you go too far away from what what's good. Uh, Marshawn Lattimore, Kurt Warner, Super Bowl MVPs. We got a rookie card for Atlanta. Kyle Pitts. There we go. That is that's a good hit finally. Kyle Pitts with an Aaron Jones behind it. So there we go. We'll sleeve that one up. That's an actual hit. Uh, people are still really high on him. Uh, I'm I I like Kyle Pitts. He just has to admit that he's an, he's a receiver. You're you're not a tight end. Like people are like, well, he can kind of block. It's like, yeah, you can block a little bit, and great, you put effort into blocking. Great, line up as a regular receiver. <laughs> like you don't need to be a tight end. Uh, and to be honest, for his career, it's probably the best thing he could do for when it comes to like contracts and everything else down the line. Like him being a receiver versus a tight end. Big difference in paydays, by the way. So, uh, Fred Blitnikoff, Russell Wilson, where does he go? Taking the Seahawks out of all of his profile and stuff. We got Hall of Fame, Tim Brown, streamer watch, uh, Redhead Ryan over on Facebook. It's one of his dad's favorite players, and I actually had won a autographed jersey from Buck City Breaks. Uh, those are the breaker nights I use every time, buckcitybreaks.com, uh, and I actually sent it over to him. It was pretty awesome. And we got a Gary Brightwell for the Giants. So, anyways, that was always a pretty cool thing. I'm a Chargers fan, so I don't want anything to do with a piece of Raiders memorabilia uh, in my house. I have a Chiefs helmet on the other side of me of this uh, camera. It's a Hardman helmet. It's a replica auto, and that's bad enough. I got to look at that. I don't want to sell it. Just need someone to actually buy it. So. I was hoping if they like did a couple little things that maybe I could like he'd have a decent game along the way and then I could sell it. And then obviously they got bounced by the Bengals and there went that plan and, and those hopes. So uh Miles Sanders, Stefan Diggs. We got a, for the Philadelphia Eagles. It's not a rookie. Oh, it is a rookie. It is Devontae Smith. This is a much better blaster. Uh Devontae Smith NFL debut. Rookie card. And then just a regular one. This is Jeremy Chin, a second year of Jeremy Chin. There we go, Devontae Smith. It's a little top, it's a little bottom heavy, I guess. Um, you know the pits? No, the pits wasn't really. It's odd. Usually when you get the, some of this stuff, it's like the centering. A lot of the times is are it's the same all throughout the pack, but maybe it's because it's the debut instead of the uh, instead of the just the base the true base rookie so and if anyone doesn't know typically the debuts uh sell for a little bit less um than what the actual true base rookie is so let's see what we get here we got a leonard floyd we got a micah parsons there we go man this is a much better blaster we got a couple first rounders here last one i don't think we had a single first rounder in the whole thing uh, we got a George Kittle got game in the green with a Dax Milne. I have no idea who that is. There we go, Micah Parsons. And they got game with George Kittle. George Kittle's so good. So good. And I know I just trashed on the whole like tight end thing, but he's actually like wants to block and like does like he's a true tight end. Like Kyle Pitts is just a ridiculous receiver that is a big body and they're like, well, just say you're a tight end. Once again, like just for your career, bud, just, I'm telling you right now, just become a full-time receiver. Just, just say you are. It's good for your contract. Good for everything. Fred Warner, DeAndre Hopkins, the Jacksonville Jaguars. Please tell me it's a rookie. Please don't tell me it's like Josh Allen. Not the Josh Allen you want, but uh, Josh Allen. And then DeForest Buckner. Man, that would have been so good if it was a Trevor Lawrence. Not my luck. If anyone knows me over here at the bench, my luck. It's not great. Football, really not great. Uh, <laughs> that's just the way my luck goes in all this. It's just, it's not good. I, I wish it was good. I wish it was even like half decent some days. But uh, we got Cam Newton. We got Steve Young. 
We got a bang. Drew Brees. Why is Drew Brees still in this? Anyways, and then uh, a Christian Barmore. Just gave one of those away to my buddy Trevor, who's a big Patriots fan. Uh, if you guys haven't yet, before I finish this off, go check out. I got a couple. If you guys like lacrosse. Uh, also, hockey. I don't know when this is going to go up, but there's going to be a whole bunch of hockey on here for the new release of Series 1 for 21-22. And all the new Young Guns and everything else. Like, probably going to be the first look over here. And then I got some videos up of lacrosse openings. So if you guys like lacrosse or professional lacrosse, um, Jeff T, well, uh, Tom, Lyle Thompson, Paul Rabel. These are all parallels that I pulled recently. I said some videos on the channel. You can either go through the playlist or just go back through videos. And so I, I have whether it's football or I haven't done basketball in a while. Football or hockey or lacrosse. Uh, there's openings for all that. So here's the last pack. Let's see what we can get. I don't think that's going to be a Genesis. Nope. So no Genesis. Uh, James Crowder. Jameson Crowder. Sorry. Warren Moon. We got for the Los Angeles Rams. Because why wouldn't we have another Rams hit? Is this a joke? Is this a joke to you? Panini, <laughs> Los Angeles Rams, and then we had Nick Chubb behind it. A Los Angeles Rams card of Jared Goff in a Lions uniform. This, if this doesn't explain to you. The luck I have with football, I don't know what will. <laughs> so uh, that's the opening. Hope everyone enjoyed that. Um, yeah, like I said I, if I was if it was me, I wouldn't pay the fifty dollars per blaster. Um, go buy some spots and a break <laughs> for hobby boxes or something. You probably have better luck of actually hitting something decent than. I said, these are $50 plus tax in Canada. Once again, maybe in the States, maybe they're not too bad um, for you guys. Um, the conversion rate for that is like $38 American, like almost $40 American uh, per blaster. So still not great. You guys probably wouldn't be loving that still. Um, but yeah, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, I don't think, for, for the price. Obviously, you can get some Genesis. And I think Genesis of like... Uh, Mac Jones right now are going for over like a thousand bucks raw. Pretty crazy. Um, so like I said, lots of options out there. But at that point, how many blasters do you get to buy to kind of hit that? So uh, anyways, for Eric from the bench, make sure you guys like and subscribe. And uh, we'll be talking to you guys later. Bye, guys.